hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is ivy and i'm a youtuber based in asaba delta state nigeria um in today's video we are going to be discussing mirac cosmetics for those of you who do not know Mira Cosmetics is a Nigerian owned beauty brand that recently just launched and it's owned by the one and only Laipa Beauty alongside a friend of hers, the former CEO of Alio by Chloe. I think her name is Chloe. So if this is a video you would like to see, then please keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, share, and please subscribe to my channel down below by clicking on that red button. And let's get over into the video. Welcome back, guys. So, um, my package came in this beautiful rose gold package right here. Um, I got three of the powders ginger, curry, and cinnamon. There are four shades that came out. Um, the last one should be nutmeg or so i can't really remember the name but it just seemed too dark for me so i did not get that and it didn't seem dark enough for me to use as an all over face powder so i didn't get it and this powder is what i use on my face today and i am really really loving the finish and the look of it we'll get into all of that in a minute so like i said um the powders will be going for 10,000 naira, but throughout the month of November, they are going for 8,000 naira. I am based in Asaba Delta State, and shipping from Lagos to Asaba costs about 4,000 naira. So while the um, pre-launch sale is going on, each of these powders is going to be going for 8,000 naira. And after the launch sale, it becomes 10,000 naira. Um, I got three of the powders and I also got one um, of the pencil, the black precise eyeliner pencil, which looks just like this. I'm going to be showing you. Um, I've already opened some of the powders because I used one or two of the powders but i left this curry shade so that i can show you what it looks like this is how the packaging looks like you have mirror cosmetics right here you have the expiration date it's like a rose gold beautiful it's sealed has a seal on it you take off the seal and you have you can see the packaging really shiny very beautiful and then when you open it up you have a puff a small powder puff written mirror cosmetics and then you have the powder which looks just like this this is a 30 gram um, powder container which is i think i don't have any of my other powders close by here but i think this is about the average size or slightly bigger because she did say in her reveal video that um it was a bit bigger than your typical setting powder i'm going to find out when i leave here and then i'm going to attach that note in my description bar down below now this is what the powder looks like um this is just the case really beautiful it has a rose gold cork and then when you open it up um, it's sealed. This is the shade Cory. Um, it's really beautiful. My experience shopping with Mirac Cosmetics. Um, customer service was really, really nice. Um, they were prompt. They reached out to me on several times because there was a little bit of delay with shipping. I, I would say customer service was on point. But the shipping service was not so good. I don't know the shipping company they use because I didn't really get a name. But the shipping took a really long time to get to me from Lagos to Asaba. And then they didn't have an office here. The delivery guy was... I, I'm not even going to get into all of that. 
but shipping experience was not so good um shipping to asaba cost me four thousand naira and i know some really good logistic companies like gig some other companies who would do that for less i mean ship for less to asaba um but eventually i got it so i thank god for that um but i didn't really the shipping line was not really good now onto the products i got three of the powders like i said earlier ginger curry and um cinnamon i use cinnamon today to set my under eye this is almost like if you use the beauty by ad product this is almost like the shade tawny just a little bit lighter but this shade this cinnamon shade i can see i can say right now it's going to be like my most loved it just gives a natural highlight to the face it blends so smoothly i used it today and i was wowed i mean it's like for beauty so of course we know that everything has to be on point she's a great makeup artist i love her as a person i've been following laifa for for a couple of years now and i love her i met her briefly while she was still based here in asaba and she is really a sweet soul so um i've covered the price points i've covered delivery i have shown you the products i'm going to be doing swatches in a bit and then i'm going to be showing you application how i apply it how it looks and i'm also yet to use the yes. pencil for the so swatches good. um this is the shade ginger it's almost like an off-white shade and laifa says this is her favorite shade i'm just going to swatch it on the back of my hands right here um, it's a translucent powder and i think it's it might appear white but it actually blends in really beautifully that is the shade ginger right here in terms of feel it's really soft not so soft that it becomes it blends into nothingness it blends into the skin um i use a damp beauty sponge to apply underneath my eye to set my concealer and it blended in really well um it gives it's really smooth to touch mm. it's not grainy at all there are, there are no particles there are no grain particles it's finely nailed that is the right word so this is the shade ginger as you can see i have been blending it in and it's practically almost disappearing into my skin um we also have the shade curry curry um okay i think you can see it a bit better like this because the light seems to be washing it out curry is like your typical curry shade it's like your banana shade it's a bright yellow shade um almost like your sasha buttercup but a bit lighter this is no, I'll just call it yellow. It's a yellow powder. I'm going to apply it here. Mm. Blend, it's blending in nicely. Um, I guess this might be a little bit light on my skin too, but I can make it work. But it's blending in really nicely. um but i think the light is washing it out so i what i'll do i'll just do some swatches and place them somewhere on the screen here alongside this you know with natural lighting so you see the actual color payoff of this powder so you have ginger right here you have curry right here and the last shade or the third shade i got is called cinnamon um this is a deeper shade this is the best color for those who are like my skin tone or darker who do not want that um, overly bright highlight this reminds me a lot of the laura mercier translucent loose setting powder in the shade medium deep but it's slightly lighter than the laura mercier powder i love this tone it's not orangey it's just the right shade of 
brown I have that right here you can see these other two shades are blending in this is ap appearing washed out on camera but this is like a BG beige like shade um, it has a brown undertone to it if you can see it right here you can see okay yeah that's much better so those are the three shades I got from the swatches I have right here you can also see the true color pick off so we have ginger curry and nutmeg and um, cinnamon I think there is a fourth shade nutmeg I didn't get that and those are the three shades I got I also got the pencil I'm going to be applying this on camera now to see how um, to see how it applies um, they also have two other products and a brow an angled brow brush and a flat verge brush I personally don't use flat brushes to clean up my brow I like brushes that have a bit of a curved circumference so I didn't get those ones so I'm just have I just have a mirror right here and I'm going to be going in with the mirror cosmetic precise eyeliner is in the shade charcoal I'm going to be applying that it looks like this when you open it up so I'm just going to be applying that in my waterline oh wow wow it glides in beautifully mm. it's really black it's really black it has and it doesn't tug on the waterline it just glides I am still amazed at this powder like if you can see my under eye right now Wow just wow 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 I'm in awe so guys I'm going to be using two shades I have the shade ginger right here and I also have cinnamon right here I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place concealer in the number 10 to highlight let's see how this powder works um, I watched the reveal video and Laefa said she uses the shade ginger and that is the shade she loves the most so I'm just going to try to bake with ginger and see how it goes taking my Zikel sponge I'm going to blend this concealer out Just blending out the edges to remove any harsh lines and then we are going to go in with the shade cinnamon um, I'm also going to be doing a flash test to see how it works with flashlight I love the cinnamon shade I can see that this is going to be my go-to powder because I love powders that are not too bright for my skin tone this is just oh it blends really really well it just absorbed into the skin it doesn't feel chalky or you know it has an eye high-end feel to it this powder is really beautiful it's, I initially wanted to add the ginger shade this white one but I just love the finish of this powder and 
this is so beautiful. I don't know how it's appearing on camera, but this is so beautiful. It reminds me a lot. In fact, I can almost swear that it's a similar formula with the Laura Mercier translucent ill setting powder. I I don't know how it's going to wear, so I'll watch that and see, but just setting it. Just setting this concealer. Wow. Hmm. This is really, really, really nice. I love. Mm, it's so smooth. So I don't know how to explain it. It's the finish is so smooth, so natural. It just sets everything beautifully. Wow. I'm just going to go off camera now and finish up with the rest of my face and then I come back for us to conclude this video so hmm. it's like I have my new favorite setting powder because from what I can see right here no need to waste your money trying to get the Laura Mercier powder or any other powder just get the Mira Cosmetics powder it's affordable. 8,000 Naira is not too much. If you get it now, or 10,000 Naira during normal days, like outside the November pre-launch sales period. So, um, what are my final thoughts on this product? I would like to say a huge congratulations to Lifea Beauty and Chloe for this wonderful brand. I watched the reveal video and they had a lot to say about the products and everything but there is nothing like you know you've launched a product and people are using it and they love it i'm very particular about my setting powders i am really really particular about my setting powders and in all the powders i've tested from nigerian own makeup brands i just had one that i really loved and that was the beauty by ag setting powders and I just talk with those and I order my Laura Mercier and my you know, other powders I use. But now with this powder, I am like, I, I have not stopped looking at, at my under eye. Wow. Like this powder is, it gives a beautiful finish. That's the right word. It gives a beautiful seamless finish. Life of Beauty, congratulations. Like, you did a good job. Ah, this is... Hmm. You are going to eat my money. Okay? I know you are going to eat my money because I'm one of those people who applies makeup like every single day. And the way I'm seeing it, I'm going to have these products in rotation, like on my vanity. I don't know how long this three will last, though. But I know that this cinnamon is going to finish quick, so... I will just what I will just do now. I will just rush and hurry up and buy another cinnamon and keep. If I even see someone that will buy with you, so that will split shipping cost better for me. But man, this product is is really nice. Like you can you can tell that a lot of work they were really right. A lot of work went into this. They did not just slap their name on any product and say, oh yeah, uh, life of beauty, give a stamp for approval, go out there and and. Ah, they will buy now like she really and being a great makeup artist i know she took her time like she ensured she said she really tested it out and it took a long time coming out so uh, from what i can see ah uh, she really did a good job like hey! man hey for a nigerian own makeup brand Hey, we are cosmetics. You have my money. You are going to be eating it because uh, this one is going to become my go-to setting powder. So, in conclusion, um, I will not lie to you guys. Those products are good. So, go on out. Get them. Try them out. I don't know if there is a tag for Mira Cosmetics on Instagram or i think maybe they don't have probably they should do that so people who buy can you know, tag them and let them know how they feel personally i love this product not just because it's coming from life for beauty you guys know i love her a lot i love her to bits but if it was a bad product i would have told you guys it was a bad product this gets a yay from me a stamp of approval 
I love 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 the setting powders I love them um, I also love the pencil it's the formula of these powders <laughs> she really took her time guys like let me stop ranting just go out there and buy it test it you say if one did not lie you say if it did not lie to you because this powders it's what every couple is spent so that is the end of our video let me go and hide this makeup products because i have some friends that know how to come and pack things that they did not buy <laughs> so i'm going to hide this one anyway guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my very very next one bye guys <laughs>